Good morning and welcome to just outside of Glacier National Park. Uh, we just woke up, it's like 7, oh, it's 7.50 already. We woke up at 7 and put down the tent, made some coffee. Today was definitely the worst day for putting down the tent for me because my hands just got so cold. So it made it really difficult to do that. Um, other than that, like I said, we made some coffee, gonna have some rusks. The inverter is going crazy, <laughs> but plan is to go find another campsite right now and then we'll be off to explore in the national park. First time we got lucky actually getting a campsite. That's, yeah. not, that's not necessarily true, but yeah. We got such a good spot at the campsite that is the closest to Glacier. Um, we got showers, Wi-Fi, full so phone service. This is oh, What fantastic. a campsite. Only for $30. It's pretty good. We got a campsite, yay. So this time we can actually leave our chairs here without a risk of them being taken again, which is fantastic. So Dean is busy. I think right there, he's back there somewhere, getting out the camp chairs and putting them down for us. Put those chairs down. Oh wow, that's really out of focus. Nice. Easy setup. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. Well, that was pretty cool that was we just saw cool. a black bear that was eating a deer carcass mm -hmm. and then like a minute later it was like i'm full i'm going now and just got up out of the cave and started walking into the woods so it was so cool yeah, that was like the first time we've properly seen like a full bear like, in daylight like we've seen we saw the grizzlies in yellowstone or no, no the grand Tians, yeah but like, they were like also in hidden the in the trees yeah. and this was that he was like this out was, like, there and out. it was so cool that was cool I'm happy it was on the other side of the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only 9.30 in the day, so we still have... This a has lot of been time. like the first 20 minutes of driving, so it's we still crazy. have even more crazy things to see. Breakfast time in the sun, time to warm up. And our first stop of the day, besides the bear stop, is called Avalanche Creek Trail and apparently it's one of the most more popular trails in the park just because you get this beautiful view of Avalanche Lake and it's only 2.3 miles we also are starting a lot earlier in the day just so we don't have another hiking situation like the other day it's only like 10 o'clock right now but like I said it's only 2.3 miles in and then two out so should take us about should take us like we did four that two hours we did that 2.7 in an hour and a half it'll probably take us like four hours so anyway i'm enjoying my panda puffs this is a, the last of our panda puffs we're gonna have to buy some more at some point but still still delicious let's hope no bears join us for for breakfast i have my bear bell my bear spray oh yeah and there's a ton of people around bear bell <laughs> it's Christmas time. Bear spray. We sorted. I don't know how to use it though. <laughs> Good. Not yet. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Quinn's got a jingle bell going. Hit my butt. You feel less scared now? A little bit, yeah. Hi, Tantal. I sound so jolly. You do. Is it this way? No. Don't you just love the sound of nature and jingle bells? <laughs> people, are, people are already hating me. This is going to be a long hike. <laughs> a very jolly hike, though. Whatever, it makes me feel a lot better, so... This is also a much better face mask and it keeps my face warm as well, so it's a win-win all around.
not sure if this is the one, but I think this is the one. and just hang out here for like an hour or so probably just because all of this is still in the shade and I really want to see it in the sun and take some pictures when this is all lit up but wow this is beautiful like the color of the water is so clear and then just like as it goes further back it's just so like crystal blue wow ice water man I think we're going to take some pictures now and then we'll probably head back to the car and move on to our next adventure. Okay, I think it is time to say goodbye to this beautiful view for now. I definitely want to come back at some point, especially at sunset with this sunset at winter. Because when the sun's going down that way and all of that is covered in snow and ice, I think it'll be absolutely beautiful, like with the contrast of this blue lake as well. So Glacier, we will be back. Um, Avalanche Lake, we will be back. updates my back already hurts and I think that's mostly just from carrying a whole lot of heavy stuff I have the 1d I have the 1635 lens on that I have the 70 to 200 lens which is really heavy and then I have two of these water bottles as well and then snacks and a jacket and the drone and the drone controller so yeah my back's really feeling it so when we do longer hikes I'm definitely gonna have to take less stuff or be more thoughtful when packing my bag but yeah it's been a good hike my back just hurts when vlog updates what's happening um my leg hurts again my toe i held up fine it was beautiful um we're discussing what we want to do today and tomorrow and trying to figure out how much we want to see um no bears attacked us it's all because <laughs> of the jingle bell yep that's the only reason not because it's super populated <laughs> Yeah, I'd say it was a good hike. We're hungry and tired though. Yep, definitely food time. Round two. <laughs> That's when already went. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Very excited. Time to explore the rest of the park. We are going to to the Sun Road. Never heard of a road name like that, but that's literally the name of the road. And, oh, by the way, there's like three roads in the whole of the National Park, which is pretty crazy, and one of them is closed. So pretty much only two roads that we have access to. We've already driven on one of them through the park yesterday, and there's like nothing along there apart from trees on the side of the road. So this is literally the main road called to the Sun Road. It's and to, It's going to the Sun Road. Going to the Sun Road, even weirder. But everyone suggests like driving down this road, this is their main attraction is driving this road. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cool shots along the way. So that bridge might not look that impressive, but if you factor in that it was built in 1926, all using hand tools, that is pretty insane. That's a carve through, what was it, like 190 feet of rock, solid granite. So they did a pretty good job. So I 
think this is a really significant stop seeing our first full glacier and what's crazy about it is that we can literally see the glacier melting and this is a really important topic that I want to bring up in my videos and just throughout my whole creative work is the topic of climate change and if this isn't evidence enough then I don't know what is. We are in Glacier National Park and I was reading this morning that there used to be over 180 glaciers when the park was first established as a national park and in 2014 there was only 16 glaciers so if that's not an indicator of the temperature rising then I don't know what is the fact that we can literally see the glaciers melting right now all the reflections that you see in the shot I just got that's all that's left up there and I'm sure that whole sheet was covered in ice and snow and it's really sad seeing it the way it is right now and that's why I wanted to speak about it because we are the generation that needs to fix this and help climate change. We're, we're doing a lot, but it definitely needs to happen a lot more and a lot quicker because if we want the next generations to be able to come to Glacier National Park and see the glaciers, then we have to do our part. It's not only that, it's the fact that the glaciers are melting in Glacier National Park and fires are raging across the whole of the west coast. As you can see the point that the architects were trying to go for was for the bridge to blend in with the rest of the land and I think they did a pretty good job they wanted the road to not be visible like when you're in other parts of the mountains so very well done working with the environment Those goats were so fluffy, which is really surprising since they live on a mountain and they were so fluffy and so clean and white. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have come to the end of the road of going to the Sun Road. Um, the rest of the road is closed off from this point because of what? COVID and fires and all of the things that are destroying national parks. Um, so we have to turn around, but we're going to head back and check out some more views and then do one more hike and then we're heading back. So all of these informational boards right here at Jackson Glacier Overlook are exactly what I was talking about earlier. So please pause these next shots in the video, have a look and read these informational boards because this is exactly what I was talking about and it's really important to take note. Okay, I was a little bit wrong earlier when I said there's 16 glaciers, but still 26 in 2015. 
And like the title of that said, it was called Losing a Namesake. If one day, I don't know, maybe a hundred years time, there's no more glaciers left in the glacier, they are gonna have to put a little asterisk next to the name because there literally won't be any glaciers in Glacier National Park, which is really sad. On a lighter note, we're going on to the next hike. Last hike of the day, let's do this. Shouldn't be too difficult, it's only a mile and a third, mile and a half in, mile and a half out. So yeah, should be like an hour and a half, two hours total. And we should be getting a nice sunset view of the glaciers and what's called the Hidden Lake. So this trail seems pretty easy and straightforward so far. Um, from what I can see, everything is on a nice wooden boardwalk, so it's quite accessible to most people. Like there's older people doing the trail as well. So if you have the time, definitely can check it out. photos as well as on my install just because I love foam but I just noticed that there's a screw in the viewfinder hopefully it doesn't screw up the shot incredible would highly highly recommend that probably one of the most beautiful walks I've done on this trip and one of the easiest as well so if you're in Glacier definitely stop by to do the Hidden Lake Trail <laughs> going to the sun road more like going to the moon road now it felt like it was never gonna end <laughs> also you can probably not see my face um we also stopped to get a postcard because like we said in a previous video we are doing a collection of postcards for every national park we go to and glacier has by far the worst postcards out of every national park we've been to just the design is so terrible we found this one, which is probably the best one we could find. It's a really cool picture, but still like, what is this font around the thing? Some of them had rainbow borders with like comic sans. It was really bad. Um, I'm sure most people don't care as much as we do because most people aren't designers, but I just see the photo and the design. I'm like, what are you doing? Also, <laughs> most of the photos were terrible. So yeah, this one's pretty cool. Really cool photo. Um, but definitely the least favorable postcard we've got so far. Agreed. We like the illustrated ones just because we, we're fancy, but. <laughs> we fancy. Okay, I'm hungry, let's okay, go. Okay, we're gonna go back to the campsite, make food, set up. Sleep. Be cool. Live life. 
Come on, I want to go. Okay, <laughs> healthy meal coming up. Got the kielbasa from hot dog things. We got peas. We got onions and carrots. We got tortellini Spinach. and chicken broth. Tortellini. Spinach tortellini. Combine those all together, makes one really good meal. So we just finished cooking, turned off the stove, and the whole like nozzle of the propane just like kind of froze. So we don't really know what this means, but I'm assuming that it's finished. Oh, but also I don't really know. That's good. Does it always do that? Mm -hmm. It might just be because it's too cold outside, but I'm not... No, it's still heavy. That's so weird. Does it have to do with this cap at all? Like... I don't know. Yeah. What's the point of that shot? Rating out of 10 of the soup. I'd say like seven and a half. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree with that. Yeah, I've made better soups. It's good, could be better, but... But seven very, and a half for camping. Very good very for good. camping, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's a 10 for camping. Seven and a half for like my normal standard of soup. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. The light is so bright in my eyes right Give now. Give it to me. Another end to another very long day. I'm dead, my back hurts, and it's time for sleep. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.